Take 12. <laughs> no. It's Florida military campground review time. There's a lot in Florida. This is one we haven't been to. We're not actually staying at this one. We're staying at another one that's really close by. Subject of another review. We're at Blue Angel RV Park. You make me understand this place in a whole different way. You make me want to live this life to the fullest, to the fullest. So thanks for stopping by and checking out this review. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Give us a big thumbs up and leave us a comment if you have any questions about this park or if you stayed here before. Now, this park is actually off base, so keep that in mind. And it is gated though, so you'll need a code to get in here after hours. You come in through, there's a ranger station at the, at the front. You'll check in there and they'll tell you your site. Also here is a 54 hole disc golf course. That's a lot of disc golf. 54. 54. 54. So, like I said, we're leaving the paintball area. We're going to hang a left. To the right would be the um, entrance or exit, depending on what you wanted to do. Up here on the right is the camp post and also one of 15 two bedroom trailers that you can also rent. And the disc golf course. Starts and more, here. yeah, and more disc golf. That's <laughs> everywhere here. Now, Blue Angel RV Park is actually divided up into two sections. There is the battleship row which is all concrete and then there's the other one which is just all sand and dirt and both are shaded so we're hanging right here and we're gonna go check out anchor cove and there are 83 sites there's water on the left in case you're wondering on the right is rv storage straight ahead is a 15 mile an hour speed limit sign shelly's currently going 13 so we are well within the legal limit of speed and there's this big lot here that if you need to, to practice your RV driving you can do so yeah there's plenty of room here to practice um, driving and maneuvering an RV we have it on good authority that people have done that uh, here on the right is the fitness park and they have a bunch of little um, fitness um, equipment equipment yeah out outdoor stuff mm -hmm. you can you can do fitness stuff uh, up here is the marina where you can rent canoes, kayaks, sailboats, etc. And according to the sign they have on the side of their building here, um, you can come exercise and have fun in their backyard. In case you're thirsty. Now the speed limit has dropped down to five, so Shelly's doing three. Just keep you guys informed Six. of that. Six. I'm speeding. Here on the right is some office space and restrooms. These two little buildings on the right here are um, offices, and then you also have LP gas refill station. On the left, you have more water, and you also have a park, the Anchor Cove Park. Picnic tables and benches Swim and things. No swimming pools, no movie stars. Mm -mm. Like I said, there's 83 sites over here in Anchor Cove, and they feature water, 1530, and 50 amp service. One thing they do not feature over here is sewer. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. And prices go from 16 to 1750 per night. There's no weekly rates anywhere in this park, and the monthly rate is between 430 and 475, depending on the sites. My guess these sites on the left will be 475 a month. The sites on the right, 430. The, yeah, there is a dump station here, <laughs> of course. Uh, and straight ahead is the campo, so we're going to be hanging a left here. Check out some waterfront sites. Now, I can't tell if it's in the camera angle or not, but this FR3 here on the left is pointed straight in. That's not a pull-in site. That's a back-in site. They just went in backwards. I would have done the same thing because they got mm -hmm. that view right out of their window. Mm -hmm. Here on the right is, well, they call it cabins. <laughs> it looks like there's enough room for maybe a single bed. Huh. I tried to film in there earlier, but because of the glare on the window, you really couldn't see anything. So, take my word for it. They're tiny. There's your beach on the left. Small beach access. There is no lifeguard on duty ever. I love it, though, because it's nice where you could just go <clears throat> sit down there with a chair and just enjoy the, enjoy the water right there. Yep. Got a playground coming up here straight ahead as well as a more picnic area 
and we're gonna be swinging around to the right more picnic area they like to picnic yeah picnic and I like to do the picnic a thing straight ahead is eight bathhouses now these are all individual why should I tell you about them we need to go check these things out it's potty time folks let's go potty because we're gonna potty all the time we're gonna we're gonna potty like it's 1999 whatever that means what is up guys here is the bathroom and it's a combination shower bathroom and best of all it's private you've got a hook here where you can hang your stuff paper towels soap sink you should know what that is toilet paper you got a towel bar you got somebody left behind stuff and here's your shower not huge but not bad I'm standing at the back so as you can see not very big but it's functional nice little bathrooms like I said individual now let's continue with the tour I actually have Verizon 5G here we do not have this at the front of the park but back here there's Verizon 5G at and is about three bars didn't bring the T-Mobile hotspot so not sure about that and they said they have Wi-Fi here but I haven't been able to pull it up on my phone so I'm not sure the water here did a water softness test it's um, a little on the hard side so I definitely recommend a water softener of course I recommend that water softener no matter what just to be careful we use on to go water softener it's awesome link below if you want to know more about it see our video on it we're not going to show you all 83 of these sites here because they all kind of look like this lots of shade trees you do have to be careful in some of these if you have a larger rig simply because of the tree limbs and you should always be mindful of that remember it's your responsibility not to hit a tree it's not the campground's responsibility to move the tree so you don't hit it and you saw that cute little beagle just a second ago good time to remind you pick up after your pets always the last military campground we stayed at we picked up after other people's pets in our sight yeah in our sight it's not that hard folks pick it up so you got a lot of beach access here you got a lot of um, boat rentals if you just want to walk around you got plenty of room to do that too now of course over here in anchor cove it was not paved it's kind of bumpy it's sand so even if it rains i don't think it'd be too terrible it wouldn't be too muddy there's also an 18 hole miniature golf course here as i read the pamphlet um three great playground areas for the children not just good but great playground areas and they do say it does say they have wireless internet like i said i couldn't pull it up they have a dry storage yard which you see up here we've seen it a couple of times and you can rent not only rent the watercraft here but you can also rent different gear on um, like fishing poles life jackets things like that there's a dump station back there somewhere we didn't go look for it because this is kind of a large campground so we didn't want to spend too much time showing you every little detail but there is one here which is convenient considering that all those are just water and sewer row cups so now we're going to head over to battleship row and to reorient yourself coming up here is this 15 mile an hour speed limit sign we talked about earlier it's the other side of this 15 mile an hour speed limit sign um, Shelly's still doing 13 and here if we if we turned left here we'd be going back towards the exit and where we came from so we're not we're going to keep going straight where it continues to be 15 miles an hour and Shelly's doing 10 now because we're driving over a bumpy area and of course the sign here says pedestrians are important slow down are they really are pedestrians really that important but here it is battleship row on the left are the good spots obviously there's 75 spots here water electric sewer average i mean they range in price from 23 to 25 bucks a night and 620 to 675 per month so about 200 bucks more per month to have sewer but they have great view 
way out there on the right is more picnic tables more beaches straight ahead is another pick is another playground and basketball court you too can barbecue you too can barbecue i just came up with that <laughs> that was a good one porta potties for your convenience and pleasure these are all pretty nice sites over here too they all look pretty level what do you think talent talent's a real big fan of this place she really is didn't look like the non-level ones were ones that people were staying at for short term. They mm -hmm. seem like long term. Yeah, and this place, pretty roomy. I mean, it really is. You got a lot of room between sites here, which is nice. This side is the RV park. The yeah. other side is campground. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. Depends on what you want to be doing. So what's the difference between a campground and an RV park? We're gonna go with paved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're gonna hang a left right here. There's a pull through spot. It's handicap spot, according to the big handicap symbol. Straight ahead is a yurt. To the left, we're gonna go ahead and pull in over here. To the left is the laundromat and bathhouse. So we're gonna go check out the laundromat and the bathhouse because well you need clean clothes you need a clean body and this is the place to do it let's check it out no the screen isn't blurry somebody just got out of here took a long hot shower so it's fogged up this is actually battleship row got a big area here for counter space trash toilet toilet paper it's got a towel behind in case you need a towel. Large, this is obviously the handicapped one. Large shower. You can roll right in if you have a walker or wheelchair. You've got a bench over here. Sit down, hooks to hang your stuff up on. Let's go do some laundry. All right, here's the amazing laundry facilities at Battleship Row. We got four washers, we got four dryers, a buck to dry. A buck to wash. Got all kinds of notices here. 30 day max day for Battleship Row and Anchor Cove on the good sites. Check out time is no later than 11. Check in no earlier than noon. There's your mobile home and cabin prices. All the bathrooms over here in Battleship Row in this particular building were um, handicapped accessible which is nice, so I have plenty of space in all those. If you're interested in learning more about this place and making a reservation, you can actually make reservations here online, which is awesome. I've got links to all that stuff in the description below. If you'd like to help us help a Christian-based veterans charity, take a look at the description below. We've got ways you can help us down there as well. And if you've ever stayed here before, like we asked in the beginning, let us know what you thought. We couldn't stay here because they didn't have room. I think we'd come back here. We'd come stay here, right? Yeah. What's your impression? I like it. I don't like, it takes a long time to get back in here. So I'm not a fan of that. I like to be closer where I can just zip out and go to the store or whatever. But, um, but if it doesn't bother you, then it's a great place. And you know, it's very peaceful back here. Nice. So I would stay here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And make your next journey an epic adventure. See ya. Bye.